Hi guys, this is Mr. Wyant again with another story for Wednesdays with Mr. Wyant. We're reading another Christmas story today called The Wishing Star. Davy looked out the window at the falling snow. Usually he loved snow, but today he was sad. It was Christmas Eve and the snow was so deep that it might ruin Christmas for Davy. Because of the snowstorm, Davy was afraid that his older brother, Josh, would never make it home for Christmas. And I have such a special present for him, Davy said to himself. If only he could get here. With his best crayons, Davy had drawn a picture of the barn on their farm. He was going to give it to Josh for Christmas to hang in his room at college. Davy turned away from the window with a sigh. Just then, Dad called. Hey, how about some help shoveling the driveway? We're going to try to make it into town to finish our Christmas shopping. We also have to buy our tree. Don't forget. Davy ran to get his boots and coat. He followed Dad out into the snow. Davy picked up his small shovel and set to work while Dad used his bigger one. Helping Dad shovel the snow made Davy feel better. Soon, Davy and Dad and Mom were on their way to town. Because of the snow, they had to drive slowly. I brought my picture with me for Josh, Davy said as they rode along. Maybe I can find a frame to fit it when we get to the store. Good idea, said Mom. I'll help you look. When they got to town, they went to the Christmas tree lot. Davy was the first one out of the car. He ran over to a beautiful, glossy, tall tree. Look at this one, he shouted to Mom and Dad. Josh will love this tree. Then he remembered. Josh probably wouldn't be home at all. Davy felt sad again. Dad and Mom came over to see the tree Davy had found. That's a great tree, Davy, said Dad with a smile. And I think you're right. It's the one we should get. Mom added, and even if Josh doesn't get here to see it, he'd still be happy that we have such a beautiful tree. Later at the store, Mom took Davy to the counter where the picture frames were sold. Davy looked at all the frames. Finally, he said, I like this wooden one. It reminds me of the wooden barn in my picture. The wooden frame was just the right size for his picture. Davy was very pleased. I'm getting this just in case Josh makes it home for Christmas, he said. Mom patted him on the shoulder and said, I know how much you want Josh to be here tonight, but it is still snowing really hard. I really don't think he's going to make it, so you must not be disappointed. At least I can wish he had come, Davy said. A 
think he misses his brother, doesn't he? As they were about to leave the store, Davy saw a crowd of people. What are all those people looking at? Davy wondered. He ran to get a closer look. Looking around the man in front of him, Davy could see what was at the center of the crowd. It was Santa. Children were sitting on Santa's lap and talking to him. Can we get in line, please? Please, Dad, begged Davy. Well, we are in kind of a hurry. We need to be back home before the snow gets too deep, said Dad. But since this is Santa, I guess we can spare the time. Davy gave Dad a big thank you hug and ran to get in line. It seemed to take forever, but at last it was his turn. When Davy climbed up on Santa's lap, Santa asked, Well, well, and what would you like for Christmas? I wish my brother Josh would come home for Christmas, Davy said, but the snow is so deep that Mom and Dad don't think he'll be able to make it. Well, I usually don't deliver people on Christmas Eve, just toys, said Santa. But I'll tell you what. Tonight, before you go to sleep, make your wish on the biggest, brightest star in the sky. That's the wishing star. Will it really work? Davy asked Santa. Well, you never can tell about wishes, so I don't make any guarantees said Santa, but it surely doesn't hurt to try. Most kids would have asked for a toy or something they wanted, right? But not Davy. He just wants his brother to come home. On the way home in the car, Davy saw that the snow was coming down harder and harder. When he and Mom and Dad were almost to the house, Davy told them about Santa's wishing star. We all make wishes every now and then, said Mom, but sometimes they just can't come true. I'm going to try it anyway, insisted Davy. That night after dinner, Dad put the Christmas tree in its stand, and Mom and Davy joined him in decorating it with colored lights and balls and lots of tinsel. While they were working, Davy thought sadly, It would be so great if Josh were here so that he could see our beautiful tree. Dad put the golden angel on the very top of the tree. I think this might be the best tree we've ever had, Dad exclaimed. Davy went over to the window and looked out. The snow had stopped falling, and there, right overhead, was a star Davy had never seen before. It was big and bright and sparkling. It was the biggest and brightest star in the whole sky, just like Santa had said. Davy looked at the star and said, Wishing star, please let my Christmas wish come true. 
I wish that Josh would come home tonight so we could all be together for Christmas. Then Davy closed his eyes and wished as hard as he could. Too soon, Davy heard Mom say, It's time for bed, Davy. If you go right to sleep, it will be Christmas morning before you know it. Davy hung his stocking by the fireplace. He kissed Mom and Dad and started up the stairs to his room. But just then... The three of them heard a sound outside the front door. Who could that be? Asked Dad. Suddenly, the door flew open and there stood Josh. Davy raced to the door, flung his arms around his brother and gave him the biggest hug he could manage. Josh had made it home after all. Davy's Christmas wish had come true. Later that night, when Davy was finally in bed, he looked out his window. Sure enough, the wishing star was still high in the sky. Thank you, wishing star, he whispered. I knew you could do it. You have made this my best Christmas ever. So Davy got his wish for Christmas. I hope you get exactly what you're wanting for Christmas, and I hope it's a wonderful Christmas for you and your family. Merry Christmas, guys.